To get the most efficient use out of any product, it is important to use the indicated label rates. These rates are described for the levels needed to contact the surface. This is great for a small area where the volumes are easily handled. However, there are times when the volumes of the final products are very large and there's a need to use a diluting apparatus with a constant water stream to use to apply. In these situations, the diluting device draws from a concentrated stock solution and when we combine it with the constant stream of water, the final mix reaching the treated surface will be at the proper label rate. This instructional video is to help calculate at what ratio the diluting apparatus works at so that the stock solution can be concentrated properly to result in the best solution reaching the surface. Once the ratio is discovered, Vedaquinol has a calculator to help predict the amount needed for the large area and the working ratio operation of the diluting device inputted can produce the final mixture for your stock solution. This can be found at the Vedaquinol Biosecurity website. Additionally, on this website is a guided brain shark on how to use the calculator and finally, contact information for more personal help. It is always recommended to test your specific diluting device at the site of your operation with your tools to get the most accurate result because many factors can affect the results. Materials you'll need a measuring container, a stock container, your diluting device, and all the attachments you'll be using in its operation for application. If the device has several settings, pick the one that you want to use and stay with it throughout the test. Step one, set up your diluting device with all the hoses and pressures that you will be using. Step two, fill up a container with a known amount of water. In our example, we are going to use one liter. For this test, we are going to use just water. We know that water's viscosity is slightly less than the products you'll be using. However, the results will be very similar and we will not have to waste product or wait extended periods of time for the foaming to settle. Step three, install the suction hose into your known volume. Again, in our case, is the one liter of water. Step four, run your system and collect all the product produced at the end of your hose in a measuring pail. Step five, stop collecting product as soon as the known volume, the one liter, has been used. Step six, measure the collected measuring pail. Now that you've completed this operation, put the two calculations together. One liter produces X liters. This is your ratio. With this, contact your Vedicrinol biosecurity technician to help you find the concentration of the stock needed for the most efficient application of the Vedicrinol products. Or refer to the Brain Shark presentation of the biosecurity product chart and calculate yourself, which is available on the Vedicrinol biosecurity website. It is always a good practice to repeat this trial and then take the average result. Every time you do the trial, there could be an influencing factor and with the replicate, the confidence of the best result can be obtained. Vedicrinol wants you to get the most efficient and effective use out of our products. And hopefully this video gave you another step in better control. Vedicrinol is always available to offer individual personal help if needed. Feel free to contact us from the information on the Vedicrinol Biosecurity website.